Greetings, Kishlings. Kish Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, chapter 1067. Alright, last time, uh, Vegapunk kind of told us a lot of things, or at least his shocker body did. Talking about the survival of Saul, the survival of the O'Hara books that were thrown in the lake, all things that were very heartwarming to Robin. Um, is Saul supposed to be the, the man scarred by fire? I would think so, but, you know, who knows. Um, but yeah. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh yeah, we also got to see the real, um, Vegapunk. He looks like Albert Einstein, and I love that. His design's pretty good. Let's see here. Punk Records is the title. And we've got Caesar Clown facing off against Judge. Let's see. German 66, Cold-Blooded Voyage, Volume 24. I forgot who you are again. Judge versus Caesar. Oh, Lord. Let's see here. A, a most curious head. What happened to your head? It used to be like a massive light bulb. It was getting a tad too long, so I cut it. Okay. We're not talking about hair here. As I recall, it was almost as tall as a giant when I met you. Oh, damn. I heard rumors about it being big, but it was like an air balloon. Well, that's because I ate the brain, 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 brain fruit. What? Japanese heat. He gets his tongue tied trying to say the fruit's name. Nomi, Nomi, Nomi. Hmm. So is this supposed to be uh, a super intelligence fruit? So his head expands to accumulate more knowledge? Hmm. Pardon me, I bit my tongue. I meant to say that I'm a brainy human because I ate the brain brain fruit. It allows me to memorize an unlimited amount of knowledge. Okay. And makes my brain grow in size accordingly. Having an unlimited data bank is uh, a handy ability for, for a born genius like me. So that's how he did it. Now I have the largest brain in the world and it continues to grow. Did you put it somewhere? Still. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Have you got tons of medical knowledge too, Dr. Vegapunk? Naturally. Whoa, so Chopper wants to learn. Does that mean you're dumb now, old guy, because you cut your brain out? Don't write off a genius, you rascal. See, this apple here, it's an antenna. Oh my god, he's connected to the... Take a gander at the top of the island. Notice how it says punk records oh my god it's literally a whole thing of his whole goddamn brain isn't it under the the giant egg that's the hangar where i keep my brain oh god <laughs> yep what isn't that way too big there's no harm in me being away from it since my antenna can pick up the brain waves hmm yeah and it being like an apple of knowledge kind of deal was funny you met a little girl earlier who called herself Vegapunk, right? That's one of my clones. There are six on the island. Europe. So that's probably why they have the transmitter bits, because they get his brains that way. You're a ninja? Each one is a facet of myself and an expert in their own key field of study. You'd get my full personality if you combine them, but they can get six times the work done apart. What the? So he basically made a super science team. That's fine. Each of them connected to punk records once a day to synchronize our memories and knowledge. Since their uh, dispositions and responsibilities are so different, the wealth of their experiences is, is that much greater. Okay. So it's kind of like a... Uh, Shadow clones, basically. So that whole, like, ninja reference, because uh, Oda and Kishimoto were friends, or are friends. 
So I'm wondering if this is like the Shadow Clone Jutsu where you could learn all the clones be doing different things, but then they come together and then the main body knows everything that the clones learned. <clears throat> That's how Naruto learned how to use Wind Chakra. You all share the same brain. I find it difficult to wrap my head around that. <clears throat> Just think of it as sharing the same library. If only I could let everyone in the world connect to my brain. All of humanity would have access to my knowledge. He seems like a good guy. Uh, then if the population of the world went on to update punk records themselves, it'd create a sea of information that surpassed what my brain can accomplish alone. Humanity would share one mind. So I'd be able to study medicine from all over the world? Naturally. Woo! The chopper is just so cute doing wanting all that. But if you let everyone share their conflicting ideologies, wouldn't all that bias lead to trouble? You sure are a sharp one night of the sea. But science would never progress if you spent all day worrying about stuff like that. <laughs> uh, that's your problem, Vegapunk. Oh god, she's about to cut him to pieces with that lightsaber. You shrug off sacrifices in the name of progress. That's why Dad's been turned into a heartless monster or weapon. Whoa, stop it, Bonnie. That beam saver is defective. Okay, so he did make that. Give it a rest. I know it cuts well enough. I tested it earlier. Turn my dad back to normal. I don't think he can do that. If you ever think about saying no, don't be hasty, Bonnie. Killing him would make you a lot of enemies hit the off switch Bonnie that beam what there's a bunch of bugs coming attracts a ludicrous number of bugs wait a minute it is it defective because it's not meant to be a weapon <laughs> is it supposed to attract bugs Oh god, it's a giant... It it shot out electricity. So she's about to... It's a giant bug zapper. Check it out, Bonnie. A giant stag beetle. This isn't the time for beetles. Look at her. She fainted. Oh, that makes perfect sense. What happened? Of course Bonnie wants me dead. It's ironic that one of my many failures saved me. Speaking of which, you guys were recently in Wano, correct? One of my many failures saved me. What? Oh, talking about the lightsaber, I guess. You wouldn't happen to know whether a dragon, just like Kaido, really appeared there. Oh, you're talking about Momo? I suppose he ate the defective fruit I left on Punk Hazard. Huh? Defective? What do you mean? That was an artificial death fruit I synthesized. I made it after 20 years of researching Kaido's lineage factor. It cost countless resources. But I couldn't get it quite right. Oh, so that's why he's the same as Kaido, but it worked out just fine. He can spit fire and he's super strong. He's the guardian D of uh, Wano now. You, you really made that? Awesome. And his color? Pink. <laughs> Drat, you see another monument that's what you considered the failure part of is that the color was wrong and he's now bashing his head into the goddamn floor or into the scrap pile really Drat, you see another monumental failure ah what's wrong with him i get it, he's a genius and a perfectionist what about this robot you made it too right old man make it move i'm afraid you're mistaken this is a legendary iron giant that attacked the holy land of marijola about 200 years ago oh it's only 200 years oh all right yes it was built okay never mind it was it was used last time 200 years ago but was built 700 years before that <laughs> but it was built over 900 years ago what no way its objective remains unknown. I heard it ran out of power before it could cause any casualties. Either way, I'm sure the scientists of the time were absolutely flabbergasted. 
Such advanced technology could have seemed totally alien to them. None of them could tell where it came from and what it was trying to do. Hmm. Seems the world government ordered its destruction, but the scientists of the time couldn't help their curiosity. That's why they hid it here, to be passed down without the government's knowledge. Oh. So basically, random bits of tech, that's why there's scrap on this island? Good job on finding this place. From the town, the entrance should look like a wall. We just scrambled here since we were uh, all old and senile. Yeah, we were plain old lost. Oh, that's a shame. 200 years ago, that's around the time the Fishman's Right Movement started to gain ground. Okay, so all this is being shown to the rest of the Straw Hats. So you're saying that robot climbed the red line? Most likely. And apparently this might be a reference to 620. What was that? I created Vega Force 1 based on what I learned from it. Ah. But I lack the scientific prowess to reverse engineer every aspect of it. It's difficult to believe that this mechanic or mechanized soldier was made over 900 years ago. That's something even you couldn't replicate? It's power source. In the past, they had a power source that could upend our modern ideas of what's possible. I swear to God if it's coal of some kind. <laughs> Except we used real cocaine, goddammit. Well, at uh, any rate, it's good to know Luffy and the others are okay. Who's that girl, though? That's Jewelry Bonnie. She's a pirate. Wait, Nami didn't know who Jewelry Bonnie was? I thought the one we saw before was a little girl. Uh, Sanji, keep your dick in your pants. And the way Vegapunk's head works is crazy. I truly did a terrible thing to Bonnie. Oh my god, did you feed her a devil fruit? Did you make an artificial devil fruit? Yeah, you should get down and beg her. Or, actually, no, wait, it's probably the whole Kuma thing, isn't it? Yeah, you should get down and beg for her to forgive you, old man. You young dolt like you know anything about it. There's something I have to give her. Regardless, I feel like fate brought you here today, Straw Hat Luffy. Please, can you take me away from Egghead? Oh, he wants to live. Because he knows he's going to be at... Oh, God. Is that a marine ship? And they're destroying the freaking mechanical animals. This is Cyperpole. We're requesting entry to Egghead Port with poorly trained pets. Yep, they're here and they got their masks on. Oh, and it's not just the Cyperpole agents we know of. We've got regular Cyperpoles. Reports indicate that Jewelry Bonnie was spotted making her way here too. That pest keeps slipping away from us. She's served her purpose. Let's terminate her on sight. Damn you. Shaka, there's a government ship. Wait, who's who's that? Is that just a robot? Or is that um, Prometheus? Not Prometheus, Pythagoras. It'd be bad if they found us harboring pirates. What does CP0 want with us? And why did they bring Rob Lucci? I say we just hand this riffraff over... After all, that Lucci fellow is an assassin, right? What? Rob Lucci? Hey, hurry up and give us our legs back. No, that guy's still around. You can you can let them go. Don't you worry, Robin Chan. I'll protect you no matter how many times he comes back. Hmm. Tell them to hand over the Seraphim and leave. We're declining their request to dock. Oh, he wants freaking the Kuma Seraphim. Or as a, a teching, like, theorized that it might be like 
Seraphim or S. Kuma or S. Bear. I doubt the agents of the world government will respond well to that, so prepare for battle. Kamabaka Kingdom Grand Line. Dragonson. Kumasan's acting weird. Kumasan, wait, we're we're trying to repair you. He knows his daughter's in trouble, doesn't he? Or is it th the whole like thing with um his duplicate? Kumasan, what's wrong? Is he still being controlled by the Navy? Kumasan, where are you going? You're in no state to be moving like that. He's like dragging all the fucking equipment attached to him. And he just fell out. You're still not yourself. What's with him? I don't know. Kuma. Kuma-san, come back. Talk to us, Kuma. Where do you want to go so bad? Stay with us. We are not done fighting. The revolutionary army is just getting started. A mad dash to where? And there's a break next week. Of course there is. <clears throat> but pretty solid chapter. Now we know how Vegapunk's brain essentially works. And I'm alright with that. Um, turns out basically the whole island is more or less storage for his brain. Because he actually ate a devil fruit. Which, I mean, makes sense. He was naturally a genius. And maybe that was the reason why he couldn't do anything when he was on his home island. Of, uh, I keep wanting to think it's Baltigo, but it's not. It's like Bara something. I forget now. The Karabaka? It's not, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, on his home island. And, yeah, makes sense now that he can just, like, learn everything. So that's why he can hold such excessive amounts of information. Also, we learned how, you know, the others work. Like, I thought he dissected part of his brain and gave it each to them, but no, not quite. It makes it less gory, anyway. Ooh. Excuse me. <clears throat> then there's the whole deal with, um, uh, Bonnie, like... I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen. Like, is Kuma, like, like tracking her in some form or fashion? Or is it somebody else, maybe? Um, the whole thing with, like... <laughs> freaking the, dev the dragon artificial smile. Like, I love that Vegapunk's, like, worried because of the fact that it turns the user into a pink dragon... Like, really, the man's a perfectionist. Um, I, I gotta love him. He's probably become one of my favorite characters, and because he's such a, like, a legacy character in terms of, like, what he's done in the world of One Piece and been such a mystery all this time, it, I love that I enjoy his character, so... Ah, uh, Vegapunk, why couldn't you have been a part of the series before? <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, with CP0 showing up, and they've got the Seraphim Kuma with them, <clears throat> things are probably going to get uh, really hairy uh, really quick. But I do want to know what was the secret, um, also the history with the giant robot. It attacked Marajola 200 years ago, but was built 900 years ago, and presumably was being powered by something for, like, close to 700 years, and that's amazing. Um, maybe it was some kind of, like, radioactive isotope, because, I mean, those things take hundreds of years to, like, fully depower. So, I could believe that. But yeah. Uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, which includes Unordinary. Um, 
links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and how ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. Should be up in the next few hours or tomorrow sometime, because we just recorded it not long before this video was recorded. So, yeah. And, uh, as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. Eat the brain brain fruit and your head will grow, but also so will your knowledge. Well, damn.